This is kind of part of my DNA now because I've rehearsed it so much. Adelita will be in town later this year with Tex Perkins, Tim Rogers and Phil Jamison to celebrate 60 years of the Stones. The Rolling Stones review is set to hit the Civic Theatre on Sunday, August 11. We're joined by Oz Rock royalty Adelita prior to the show. Sticky Fingers is obviously such an iconic album. Can you remember the first time that you heard it? Um, I was not familiar with Sticky Fingers until I did this show, but of course I know songs off it. My actual first Rolling Stones record was Tattoo You, mm. um, which I bought on cassette when I was in my late teens. And I remember Start Me Up and that was probably my first introduction to the Stones, although obviously I'd heard Satisfaction and, you know, the classics on the radio before that. So Sticky Fingers was a much later introduction for me and I got to know the record through doing these shows. Yeah. Um, it's so interesting when you learn covers and Rolling Stones songs, they sound pretty straightforward. Yeah. But um, they're quite complex when you have to learn them. Like they're really intricate in every way, mm. you know. It's, it's amazing, so clever the way they write their songs. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so have you already started rehearsing? We've actually rehearsed this. This is kind of part of my DNA now because I've rehearsed it so much um, because we started these shows probably about three or four years ago. Yeah. We went on the road. So um, we've done like a couple of national tours with Sticky Fingers. We uh, we did Exile on Main Street as well. Um, but I know I – so rehearsals will just be kind of like brushing off the cobwebs. <laughs> You know, and we might learn a couple of new new Stones tracks to chuck in the mix. Um, but I love rehearsing this with the band. Yeah. Um, and with Tex, Tim and, and Phil, you know, we rehearse in Sydney. It's really nice going up there, great studio, and we have a great time. And the band are so good, you know. You know, they're just they're just such a great band and I just love rehearsing with them, you know, and they're just so polished but still really um, relaxed, yeah, you know, yeah. to work with. So, yeah, I re- I pre- we all prepare at home a lot, you know, prior to coming into the rehearsal studio. So when we do come in, we're well-oiled yeah. and then we just bang, 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 go through the songs, you know. So that that's what we do, a lot of preparation and then we all meet and, you know, slam it out. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. And so what's it like actually yeah. getting to perform these songs then? What do you love about taking them to the stage? It's such a thrill. The songs are amazing, not only to perform them but to watch Tex and Tim and, and Phil do their tracks. Like I'm just always side of stage just bopping away and just loving it. It's just such a treat. And, yeah, the songs just they roll off your tongue. They feel great to play great rhythms you know mm. so you it just they're just so great to play but I work really hard to remember all the lyrics so I try to make it so that it's second nature and I don't have to think about it so I prepare a lot and I get really nervous generally you know um, which is funny to 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 think that you know why would I do music and be on a stage if I get nervous but I always do so I do get nervous, so I work really hard not to be and um, prepare a lot so when I get out there I can just have fun, Yeah, you know. Um, So, yeah, and it's so great, you know, the band with, you know, Jack Housden is the MD and he's just amazing. He's he's just so great. He's such a maestro on his guitar. He's incredible. You know, you can't take your eyes off him. The band that he's put together – just just so incredible every single musician mm. and when you've got that backing band you know these absolute legends and they're just you know at the top of their game you're just like wow it's just so much fun and and such a thrill because I'm I'm not I'm just a self-taught musician I, I'm not trained at all yeah, you know wow. and I can barely read music and uh, you know I'm just a very I'm just a yeah self-taught musician and to have these just absolute you know masters of their craft it's it's such a it's such a privilege such an honor so just put all that together then you've got the crowd you know then then they come along and that's who you're doing it for it's such a joyous sort of night 
to do and um yeah, it's just a real thrill, you know. You'll be here in Newey on the 11th of August at the Civic Theatre. I'd actually love to go back to a show that you did last year here in Newcastle at King Street. Um, what was that experience like for you? Because it was pretty much packed out. Yeah, so Magic Dirt played King Street, which was like the new venue in town. Yeah. We'd always played, obviously, the, the Cambridge, which um, closed. Um, and well, we played the Cambridge so many times and had such – great nights and hilarious nights there like some of the most funniest shit would happen at uh, at the you know after parties like I can't go into detail it's just too (laughs) (laughs) just too visceral yeah but um yeah we've always loved playing in Newey it's sort of like I'm from Geelong so Newey's like very it's like that similar like a similar sort of industrial you know region big regional centre Mm. so I've always had that affinity with Newcastle and you know it's it's such a great place to play. People really love their music there, and um, and yeah, playing at King Street was great. We, you know, it was it's such a great room. Like the acoustics in there are awesome, and it's got the different levels. I was walking around like exploring the whole place. Yeah, and there's all these weird little like inbuilt like um, little uh, glass sort of cages with things behind them, and yeah. it was cool. And I love that there's that dedicated band room. You know seems like a lot of love and care has gone into it, a lot of preparation and, yeah, it seems like, yeah, it was so, it was great like and the crowd, you know, were awesome and heaps of people came um, and we had a great time. It was, it was really good because sometimes, you, you know, when you have the new rooms, it's new so mm. you don't know how it's going to go and because um, I love, you know, a stinky old pub, you know, that's, <laughs> that's sort of my favourite thing to play but um, this room was great, just yeah, really, really great. Like, we loved it. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, really glad that Newey's got King Street there. Yeah, yeah, same. Um, I was super worried when the Cambo was going, but it's a pretty awesome space. And um, so is the Civic Theatre. Um, I can't wait to see the Rolling Stones review on the 11th of August. Thank you so much for taking some time for me. Thanks, Bonnie. No worries. Anytime. And um, hopefully we'll see you there. <laughs>